Another one of my lipo packs died on me the other day. Um, if you look at this, so this is normally a 4S pack, which should be reading somewhere between 14 and 16.8 volts. If I stick the multimeter on here, we're getting 11.8. So that's telling me that one of the cells in here is dead, because each cell is about 3.2 to 4.2 volts. So if we figure out which cell is down, then we can take a chance at recovering it. It's something that most people don't normally do or just don't do because they don't know how to do. And there's a lot of a lot of misinformation about there you know, out there about how unsafe lipo batteries are. And really as long as you take care of it while you're using them, uh, you'll have a pretty low chance of doing anything harmful. So we can see here that this cell is at 0.3 volts. So that is dead. So that's um, the second cell from the bottom here. So that's the third cell in the battery. So what we can do is take a shot at just recovering that using a bench power supply. Um, as long as it's set up properly, you'll usually have a pretty good chance at recharging the cell. Whether it holds the charge or not is really going to be uh, the big question, because if it died in the first place, then there's a good chance that there's just something wrong with the chemistry of the cell. But some of the times you can get them to charge back up and actually be more or less good as new um, afterwards. But there's usually, most of the time, they're just going to be dead anyway. So. It's worth the recovery if you can get it to work. The most important thing you'll need to try and recover the cells is some sort of um, constant current capable power supply. So this one over here is just, um, just my standard power supply that I use. And the first thing you want to do is set it to 4.2 volts because that's the maximum voltage that a LiPo cell will want to be at. So we have 4.2 volts there. And then you'll want to take it over here to your multimeter. Or if your power supply has a better current setting ability built into it, then you'll just do it on there. But basically what you want to do now is limit the current that the power supply will be able to output. So right now mine's at about, oh, that's not good. So in the case of this, you want to limit it um, based on the seat, um, the capacity of your battery. This is a 1300 milliamp hour battery, meaning that it's 1C rating, which is it's usually the maximum charge rating you want to do, is 1.3 amps. So I'm just going to be going at 1 amp. Um, for recovery, you usually want to go less than 1C, just because there's the chance that the battery won't like having voltage put back in it and it could start to heat up and you want to be able to keep an eye on that. So here have my multimeter set up to showing the current and the voltage that will be going into the damaged cell on our battery. Alright, so I have the battery plugged in now. Um, you can see that we're charging at 1 amp and it's currently at 3.3 volts and rising. So basically when the battery is empty, it has a lower internal resistance. So it's going to start sucking in um, a whole bunch of current and we're going to hit our current limit um, as the voltage starts to rise. And then eventually as we reach around 4.0, 4.1 volts, um, that internal resistance of the battery is going to start to rise and it's going to start drawing less and less current until eventually it's full enough where it's just going to be trickle charging um, for the entire time that it's on there. So we'll just want to keep an eye on this until our voltage reaches a point where it's staying the same but our current has decreased so it's no longer limited at one amp. It'll be around 20 or 30 milliamps and then we'll be able to pop this on um, the regular charger uh, put it on balance mode and see if we can get it, the charge to stick. Another thing to add is just that you should be constantly checking on the battery to make sure it's not getting warm. Um, so that's where if there is some sort of issue with the cell where putting a charge through it is going to cause a problem like a fire, then you'll notice because the cell will start getting warm. So as long as you don't leave the battery unattended and just check on it every couple of minutes to make sure it's not getting hot or anything, So it looks like this cell's fully charged. We've got 4.2 volts um, coming out of it, or going into it at least, so it's pretty high up in our amperage has dropped down to 100 milliamps. So I think it's ready to check the voltage across all the different cells in this and then toss this on the balance charger just to finish it up. All right, so let's see how this battery's doing. Um, overall voltage is 14.4 volts, which is still a little bit low, but it's within our acceptable range for a 4S battery. 
Now let's see what our skills read. So this was one of the good ones before, 3.3. This was the bad one that we just charged, 4.2. 3.3. 3.4. So it looks like all the cells are in a healthy range now. Um, I probably should have char stopped charging that other cell around the 3.3 volt range because that's what everything else is at. Uh, so putting it on here will make it take a little bit longer on the balance charger with the cells this uneven. But I'll put it on there anyway and we'll see how it is at the end. Here's the battery that I recovered again. Um, it's been a couple days. I forgot to record testing it immediately after uh, draining it. but. All of the cells were equal, so I figured I'd recover them. Um, I charged the battery back up and I took it out flying. So this is it after f about a day of sitting after flying. And we're at about 14.4 volts, so that's telling. That's a good sign already. Um, now let's see what we have for cell voltages. So this was our first cell, which was fine, 3.6, not a problem. Second cell. 3.4, not a problem. Now this is the cell that was dead that we recovered. 3.6, so that's looking great. And this last cell is also 3.6. So, looks like this battery has been fully recovered. I can finally take this sticker off of it. And um, looks like I have another pack to add back to my arsenal again.